go for it, right? Like try something new, try something crazy, uh, try something fun. Um, we'll, let, we'll, we'll talk about it and decide if it's going to be the best thing to do. I'm Dr. Jill Johnson. I've spent my entire career in education. I started in the classroom, then trained teachers, and most recently served as a high school administrator. Now I help highlight the stories, struggles, and successes in educating the next generation of content creators. Welcome to CGTV. Well, Dr. Jill, it's great to be back with you. And we're talking about a subject that I love talking about, and it's such a fun role to get to play uh, within education, and it's that area of storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had so much energy around this, if you're reading marketing blogs or communication stories, we talk a lot about storytelling. But within education, we have specific opportunities to do storytelling that I think are rich and deep and really build relationships. You know, Dr. Jill, uh, you've written about this, you've studied it. Um, how, how do you feel like storytelling plays a role in the social media for schools? Mm -hmm. I think Donald Miller is one of my, an author I really, I really enjoy. And one of the things he says is, you know, everyone has a story, make yours worth telling. And I think that's what's really, really key about storytelling is that you have a lot of voices telling that story. And so what happens a lot of times with communication in schools is it's coming from one person. It's from your superintendent, it's from your uh, PR person, uh, maybe a principal. And there's only so much that they can see and understand and then in turn tell uh, in, in the storytelling um, realm. And so you need to get those other voices, you need to get those students involved because it's, it really is their story. Um, we're just helping them facilitate that story. So, you know, uh, not to be too uh, contrarian here, but mm -hmm. um, it's, it's hard to tell good stories. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, you know, as someone who taught in a classroom and then, you know, did, a, you know, roles in administration and communication, uh, how, do you, how do you help students to do that effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the simplest way I always say is tap uh, topic, audience, purpose. You know, so you're thinking about what is it you're you're trying to to tell about, who are you telling it to, and and why are you telling it? And so when you consider those kind of things, whether you're a student or adult, an adult, those really are are helpful. And then when we give them an authentic audience, like even 30 years ago in my first classroom. We were, we were running off copies and putting them in the teacher's lounge of things that kids were writing so that we could share those out. We were putting them out at parent-teacher conferences. Then we started putting them on a website and now we're able to share them instantly on social media. Um, and so it's really giving kids that opportunity to have that authentic audience so then they get feedback. And when you have an authentic audience, your story is going to become that much richer because you know there are more ears and eyes hearing and seeing that story. You know, I look at that feedback, we get that feedback so often from our smartphones, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be that we had to develop film and then, you know, <laughs> we sort of graduated to more digital cameras, but now we get mm -hmm. that instant feedback when we're taking a photo or video and we can upload that. How have you seen those light bulb moments for students when they're, uh, you know, capturing those moments in a story and releasing them out into social media for mm -hmm. their school. Yeah, well it's amazing to be able to see the positive feedback that they get, the things that work and the things that don't work, but then it's also when they have someone who um, offers some criticism. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's a misspelling or a, a time posted incorrectly for an upcoming event, but the, that they're like, oh, people are actually seeing that and relying on that information to be correct and informative. Um, and then when it really gets more into the storytelling and what actually has happened, um, just to see the impact that that can have. Um, you know, I'm thinking about uh, when we had a student um, who wasn't able to be on the wrestling team, but he was part of it. And then we had a student from another school district come and offer to wrestle him. And we took a quick video of that. It wasn't part of the competition. It was just one kid from a school being nice to another kid out of school blew up. Um, on social media and then also then we got some news stations in and reporting so I think that's that light bulb of when um, when you tell your story correctly and make sure that you're ready to tell the story anytime that story's happening is when the magic 
that can kind of happen and then uh, really impact a lot of people. Well, I love the way that you've removed fear for a lot of students in being content creators as well. I, I think of the, there was a recent uh, story out of HBO that had released uh, some I improper information on an email. It wasn't mm -hmm. harmful, but you could tell they just made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And they said, this was our intern. And mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of a funny thing because uh, so many people rallied around the intern and said, we've been there, uh, you know, we've had these missteps. Mm -hmm. uh, you can learn from this. This isn't career defining. Mm -hmm. You can grow from this. And I think you've done that so often with students to say, mm -hmm. I appreciate the way you said, there was a mistake and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Like that's okay to have those mistakes. Um, but we'll learn from those. And mm -hmm. uh, obviously with Class Intercom, that's an opportunity to do that, hopefully before it gets published. Right, and it's great to have that collaborative opportunity because usually if you have multiple eyes on something, we'll catch most of the mistakes. Um, but it's also a great learning experience. And I know I always told students, and I've told our, our team here, go for it, right? Like try something new, try something crazy, uh, try something fun. Um, We'll, let, we'll, we'll talk about it and decide if it's gonna be the best thing to do for uh, whatever the topic is, whatever the audience is, whatever the purpose is. Um, but some of the greatest things came from a lot of tries, a lot of mistakes, um, and going out on a limb and trying something new. Well, Dr. Jill, it's great to hear your perspective, and I know uh, you have a lot more content out on the Class Intercom website um, in the form of blogs, interviews like this. So, um, so for all of you, stay tuned. Uh, Dr. Jill, uh, great to be with you.